Welcome to our V Bulletin training video. This video will walk you through finding style bars via Firebug, a developer tool for Firefox, and how to override the default V Bulletin CSS. Before we get started, make sure you have both Firefox and Firebug installed on your computer. To get started, we are here on our home page. We're going to click on the Firebug icon to enable the Firebug console. So to start, I've decided that I'm not a fan of the way that the form description text looks. It's the text right under the word main forum, so I'm going to right click on it and choose inspect with Firebug. The console shows me what HTML I'm looking at. If you go into the right side panel and highlight the rules before the fancy bracket, you've gotten the code to find there your specific item in the style bar. Our next step is to log into the admin ZP and go to Styles and Templates, then Style Manager. Next, we're going to search in Templates. We're going to search for the text we just found and copy and paste it into the box and press Find. Now it came back with two results. We want to edit the CSS-global.css since we're not going to edit the responsive style today. So double click on the CSS global. The template comes up and we can use the search in template function at the bottom to find our code. For this specific bit of CSS, we don't have a style bar controlling how it, the text works. So we're going to add some in our CSS additional.css template. So go back to the style manager, then click on the double arrows and locate the CSS template group. Double click to expand it. Then locate the CSS under dash additional.css template. Here we're going to add our code. Beneath it, we'll add some CSS rules. So we'll type the following. This is going to edit both the font size and the color of the font. When you finish typing in the code, scroll down and press save. When we go back to our site page, you can see that our font is a little bit smaller and it now appears in blue. Next, we want to change the background color of the nav bar. We're not a fan of the green slash blue color it already has going on. So we'll click up top to the navigation bar tab. Don't forget to click on the Firebug again to enable it. When you look at the page, you'll see that what you're inspected is highlighted. Now we want to change the entire background, so we need to go up a few elements until we find the one we want. You can see in this HTML code itself, the ID is called channel tab bar. If you look in the CSS window also, you'll see the channel tab bar lists the background color. So we'll take that and search for it in our templates again. We can see it turned out with a few results. We want the global CSS template again. Now if we search here, we pull up our CSS rule. We see it is controlled by the style of our header under dash tab bar under dash background. So into the style manager one last time. And we'll click go to edit style bars and either type in or paste header under dash tab bar under dash background and look. Now we can edit the color or we can copy and paste the URL to edit the background. Once you modify your settings, you can click save and go back to your site page to see your modifications. Thank you for choosing V Bolton 5 Connect.